TCPCOM is typically used to convert a network device's TCP IP connection to RS-232 so that you can use RS-232 software to communicate with that device. For instance, you might have a balance connected with an Ethernet cable to your TCP IP network, but your data collection software only works with local balances that use RS-232. Instead of rewriting your software to support TCP IP connections, it's much simpler to use TCPCOM to convert the connection to RS-232. In this example, I have a balance connected to my Ethernet network, and I have OneWitch standard data collection software, which only pulls data from local devices that are connected using RS-232. So, I'll use TCPCOM to connect with my balance and get OneWitch to see it as an RS-232 connection. I start TCPCOM, and I see that this window has two sides, one for managing the RS-232 connection on this computer, and another for setting up the network TCP IP connection. This computer is just reading data, so it's acting as a client that will request data from the server, which is the balance. So, I'll select this PC will act as a TCP client. Now it needs to know the balance's IP address, along with the port number to use for communication. In my balances settings, I've already configured the balance to use the IP address 192.168.1.12, so I'll type this into the field remote host IP address. My balances manual tells me that it communicates over port number 1000, so I'll type that into the field for remote port number. On the serial port side, we can configure the RS-232 settings. We want to make a virtual, simulated COM port for WinWedge to read from, so I'll check the Create Virtual COM port box and then choose a COM port. And since this is a virtual COM port, we don't need to worry about any of these other RS-232 settings. Now I'll click the Activate button to start the connection. Now, I can run WinWedge and set it up to read from our virtual COM4 port. WinWedge lets me test that I'm able to receive data in its Analyze window. When I press the Print button on my balance, I can see that the weight data sent over the network is being received by WinWedge exactly as if it were being received using a legacy, physically connected RS-232 COM port. As you can see, it's extremely easy to convert TCP IP network data into RS-232 port data using TCPCOM.